future co-founders of Crocs, eyeing a peculiar prototype of a shoe for the first time in 2002. His immediate reaction? Wow, those are some seriously ugly shoes. However, these peculiar shoes, resembling more of an ugly duck than a swan, didn't merely transform. They evolved into a multi-billion dollar juggernaut of a company, publicly traded and all. Welcome to Money Doc TV, a channel dedicated to entrepreneurs who risked it all to create today's most iconic brands. Let's get started. Fast forward to the kicker. These quirky foam shoes didn't stop at just raking in money. No, they went on to adorn the feet of Hollywood's finest and even graced the prestigious runway at Paris Fashion Week. Now, the burning question arises. How did three individuals with absolutely zero background in footwear catapult these seemingly unattractive shoes into a global phenomenon? Let's step into the shoes of Lyndon Hansen, 